Today's research holds particular promise in regard to treating a side effect which is a great concern in regard to chemotherapy patients. In particular, TSA, otherwise known as taste and smell abnormalities. And the reason that's important is because with a loss of taste and smell, generally what could occur is lack of appetite and the ability to eat foods which could be healthy and assist in the recovery from chemotherapy treatment. What they're utilizing here is a milk protein called lactoferrin. Now keep in mind, lactoferrin has been heavily researched and has a slew of additional benefits outside of what's uh, elicited from this particular research itself. However, we're going to stick within the confines of this research in regard to lactoferrin, chemotherapy, and helping restore taste and smell itself. So with that in mind, let us proceed as follows. Milk protein shown to alleviate chemotherapy side effects. Chemotherapy and other cancer therapies can wreak havoc on the taste buds and olfactory senses, depriving recipients of the intricate interplay between taste and smell that is critical, 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 to, to grasping flavors and enjoying foods. Over time, taste and smell abnormalities for the rest of the research, we're just going to identify it as TSA, refer to it as TSA, can lead to a loss of appetite and anorexic behaviors, compromising patients' ability to recuperate from the disease. Now, before I proceed, the cool part about this research as well is it's obtainable. Lactoferrin is fairly common. It can be purchased in a multitude of places, and the dosage itself was over a 30-day period of time, and it was only 250 milligrams three times per day. So. Keep that in mind and let's proceed forward. The prevailing symptom described by patients undergoing chemotherapy is persistent metallic flavor or aftertaste. Now, the metallic uh, flavor, that is where lactoferrin comes in to shine. You'll see more why in a second when we go through the abstract in about 60 seconds. Or aftertaste with or without food intake. This can last for hours, weeks, or even months after the completion of treatments. As a consequence, Cancer patients suffer poor appetite, weight loss, depression, and diminished nutrition, all of which are detrimental to recovery, although TSA is widespread in a frequent complaint of cancer patients. Until now, there have been no established therapies that reliably prevent or treat this problem. We're going to move away from the public citation for a second and go straight into the abstract because it explains how lactoferrin is utilized and its results or how it works a little bit in better detail itself. So let's move to the abstract as follows. What they did, a few of the highlights, three tablets per day, as we stated prior, 250 milligrams per tablet for a 30-day period of time. To proceed, all right, slide was collected at three endpoints, blah, 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 to move a little more forward. Uh, each lactoferrin, lactoferrin treatment stage was analyzed. High TSA level was associated taste and smell abnormalities with high concentrations of salivary, Fe being iron, and loss of critical salivary, salivary, however you want to pronounce it, immune proteins. Lactoferrin supplementation significantly decreased the concentration of salivary, Fe, or iron, henceforth the reduction in metallic taste. Strong correlation, we'll just call it. Increased the abundance of salivary alpha amylase, or amylase, I should say, which is actually kind of cool because we all know amylase in regard to helping with digestion itself, and so on and so forth, and other factors as well. At the same time, the total TSA score was significantly reduced in chemotherapy patients. The study demonstrated the feasibility of developing lactoferrin supplementation as a treatment to reduce TSA caused by chemotherapy and improved cancer patients' oral immunity. The little picture you see below is the dosage of lactoferrin they utilized and some of the results of that lactoferrin consumption. Now keep in mind, this is a small study. It needs to be expanded to a little bit larger group. It is a human study, however, but does it work the same way in all different types of chemotherapy, treatments, medications, so on and so forth. In any case, this is extremely promising. Now proceed back to the public release as follows. To quote the researchers, our research shows that daily lactoferrin supplementation elicits changes in the salivary protein profiles in cancer patients. Changes that may be influenced in helping to protect taste buds and odor perception. 
By suggesting lactoferrin as a dietary supplement, we can reduce TSA for many patients, restoring their ability to enjoy foods during a time in which nutrition can play a key role in their recovery. This research could help us develop TSA, taste and smell abnormalities, targeted biomarkers and strategies for improving quality of life during chemotherapy. Cancer patients and their supporting family and friends may again find comfort in enjoying a meal together. All right, now I'm gonna fast forward to the end of this uh, particular article and also pull up one extra note of interest. Lactoferrin supplementation also enhances the expression of salivary immune proteins, which may help reduce oxidative stress and resulting side effects. Oral infections such as thrush also may be diminished. Kind of an interesting uh, observation on its own, or I should say hypothesis in regard to this research overall. So something fairly simple appears to be fairly safe more studies need to be carried through. However, very simple to take. 750 milligrams of lactoferrin is very easy to obtain uh, and consume. It's nothing that's a major thing as far as uh, noticeable side effects and so on and so forth. Although again, different medications, different chemotherapies always result, or I should say, consult with a medical professional. Extremely promising, extremely hopeful, and what an incredible benefit to those going through a tough time already. Again, this is Rob Channel signing off once again. I hope you find this information of use. DOI citation will be listed so you can go to the abstract and hopefully they, they post the full published study uh, a little bit later on. But in any case, as always, thank you and I'll see you next time. Catch you then. Bye.